So here we are. <sighs> Feels kind of cold right now. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be that cold um, the entire run here right now. But today is an exciting day for my runs. So we're looking at 22 degrees. It is the longest day of the year. Uh, if it's not the longest day of the year today, it definitely is the longest day of the year tomorrow. Um, we have an exciting break uh, that just came up. Um, so as a teacher, I get off a little bit. So I have some time to put in some intentionality behind my training a little bit here, which is good. I am gonna develop a plan and I'll probably record my planning process um, for what January through May will look like in preparation for this first marathon uh, in Pittsburgh <clears throat> on May 3rd. But right now I'm considering what I'm learning. And again, I'm just sort of on this channel, if you're new to this channel or you're watching it for the first time, this is just me, normal dude, um, trying to teach all day, coach baseball all night, be creative and create content when I have some downtime, be on about good parenting, and then sharing those experiences and what I'm learning about them. So today I'm sharing my, my run experience. And um, right now I'm considering myself in this first initial block, which is sort of base building and getting comfortable with routines and running systems. Uh, I've been intentional or trying to be as intentional as I can around <clears throat> uh, training in that zone two. So for me, it's anywhere from that 120 heart rate all the way up to about 147. Trying to be in that zone two and be efficient there um, and really um, work on getting sort of uh, blood flow and expansion and really what I'm learning is like your heart is actually expanding, becoming more efficient with the blood flow uh, and, and, and what the system is working on there. So becoming more efficient in zone two is something I'm trying to be intentional about. But today is sort of a milestone day for me because initially I set out for a goal this year. So from January last year all the way through, I set out my initial goal was 700 miles for the year. And previous to that, my first year of running uh, in, in 2018 or 2017, uh, going into the 2018 year, my goal was to get, I think it was like 300. And I've mentioned that before. So to almost double down on that was like a big challenge for me. Uh, that meant that my monthly mileage would have to increase dramatically compared to the year previous. Um, and uh, I've been good with that. Uh, so I was on pace in about August. And then I had uh, a, a really terrible August. So my mileage was down. And um, I didn't think I was gonna get even 700. So put in a really great September, October, and an even stronger November. And around halfway through that, that phase there, those three months around October, I knew I was closing in on 700. I knew that wouldn't be a problem at the end of November. And so I upped it to become another 100 miles. So you know, I gave myself permission to revise that goal, make it 800 for the year which is today I'm at 797. We're nearing the end of December. I will probably exceed obviously the 800, but uh, I think the, the lesson learned there with goal setting is have a target, be intentional about getting to that target, but don't let it become a ceiling. You know, don't let it become, hey, you know, I got 700 in November and then I'm gonna downshift to do nothing in December. Uh, that's bad news and bad practice, we know that. So what I did was I actually increased it. So I think, being flexible around your targets and your goals, setting realistic goals. 700 was realistic uh, when I first set out. But as you can see, um, adding on or tacking on another 800, you know, 100 uh, was gonna get um, sort of a bigger challenge and increase the volume in which I, I run. So for me, it meant uh, putting another 100 on there. And I felt good about that. I feel good about my accomplishment today, but also know that there's an additional, you know, um, six days, or I'm sorry, nine days left in the month, and I'll probably exceed that 800 as well. So that, my goal is to get out there and, and finish his run, um, get through that 800, probably end up, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go about an hour here today, so add on another six or seven miles, and uh, feel good about the accomplishment today, and then 
um, allow myself to feel good for about a night and then get back out there tomorrow and repeat. All right, here we go. All right, just getting back 10 miles and uh, about an hour and 30 minutes. I'm not sure what the pacing is. I'll put it in, uh, in the video here at this point. Yeah, so that run felt pretty good. Um, no complaints, heart rate, I think it was like 75% of the time was in that zone two, which felt pretty good. Again, here's my zone two understanding. For a normal guy running normal miles and then teaching full time and um, trying to do some creative stuff here and there. Uh, I want to work on my aerobic capacity. So I'm trying to stay in that, in that zone um, from 120 to 147, 149, so that I build and can enlarge that heart, which would increase the blood flow. And by training aerobically in zone two, becoming more efficient there, my understanding is that I won't get to those lactic thresholds and exhaust that anaerobic energy and my muscles locking up, that point that lactic acid builds up where your, your muscles sort of lock up and you really physically cannot move anymore. That's not the goal here. The goal is to run a race in May, um, you know, that, that I can finish and finish with an appropriate time for me and what I'm able to do right now. So 10 miles at that zone two, about 75% felt pretty good. So no complaints, feeling good. Plus I got after that goal of 800 for the year. I'm at 807 now with again, another 10 days to go. Today's the longest day of the year. Um, feeling good that I got that in. So that's that.